All right, man, let me show you how to do this. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. So go ahead and uh, fire up ProPresenter there. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and create a new presentation. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to View, Q Palette, and here's your live video module right there. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that in. My video source is, I'm just gonna use my FaceTime camera since, um, since I don't have another camera hooked up. So go ahead and click that. Do not use an audio source right there and I'll show you why in a second. Click done, clear that. I'm gonna go over to preferences and I'm going to make sure that siphon down here is enabled. So that's preferences, display, enable siphon. Okay, so once that's done, um, all you have to do is click um, on there and you'll see, hey, how's it going? Please ignore my dirty office. <laughs> I've been getting ready for next Sunday and I've had to do a lot of computer work stuff. So uh, cables and all that jazz. Um, okay, so here's the video and it's going to look a little wonky because I'm showing a video while recording the same screen. So that's why it's kind of looking like that. Um, but basically you can create, you can create another document. Um, let's just call this number two. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to edit this edit slide and let's say, um, uh, let's see, Romans 5, 8, let's see, what does that say, while we were, well, it actually says that God showed his love, I'll just stop there, that while we were at Sinners, he crossed, crossed out for us, yay, Jesus, thank you, okay, so you can drop that down, uh, and you, you can do, I mean, a few things, whatever you want, I'm gonna leave it just like this, but you could even, um, like put a shape in there behind it. Um, so let's go like that. And for that shape, I'm going to say, oh, let's see, where is it? Right there. Shape, fill color. Let's do a nice purple because Dayton Broncos. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to drag that underneath there. And so here we see it's like a little kind of mini lower third, basically. So let's just, uh, we're going to go ahead and save that close that. So now whenever I do that, you'll see, boom, I got my lower third. All right, pretty snazzy. Uh, and so you would need to um, essentially create a new thing there to get that lower third off there, just a blank screen. Okay, so now we have the video going. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pop over to OBS. And so you're going to click on the plus here. You're going to add siphon client right there. All right, so click OK. And essentially what you want is you want your ProPresenter output. So whatever ProPresenter outputs, that's the one you want. So uh, you see, there it is. I'm gonna click okay. Um, now, here's what's pretty cool is if I add my lower third, you see my lower thirds on there, all right? This is where you add your audio. So you're gonna um, input. And so um, I'm gonna use the Q uh, Q9, which is this big microphone that you're gonna see. Well, you can't see it. Hey, perfect, I have a studio mic right there. And so I'm going to select that one, um, but you could input whatever you want. Um, however you get your audio into your computer, that's the one you want to input, okay? Um, so again, you can go back out here and turn that off, and you will see an OBS that's off. Um, you can go out here, and um, let's say we're going to play this video right here. You'll see it's playing. I mean, it's beautiful. And then you can stream right here out of OBS. So this allows you to run... Pro Presenter and your video all at the same time right here. It's like if Jesus were a thing. This is pretty cool, isn't it? All right. Hope that helps you, buddy.